Steelers running back Le'Veon Bell is facing a four-game suspension for violation of the NFL's drug policy, sources telling our Dan Graziano. But this time, not for a failed drug test, but a missed drug test. Bell's appeal is expected to be heard before the season. Bell was suspended in 2015 for a violation of the policy on substances of abuse after he was arrested for marijuana possessions and DUI in the summer of 2014. Anita? Well, let, let's set this up where this dude went wrong from the beginning. The NFL has a timeline, a calendar. They tell you when you're going to be tested for marijuana. So you get a heads up. So, uh. so you get a heads up. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know when you're going to have to pee in a cup. Yep. Okay? So do the timeline. And I'm sorry, if you can't, as Stephen A. likes to say in Spanish, Nadie Dile te... que no a la marihuana. No, Dile bájate, que no. bájate, bájate. Dile que no. Stay off the weed. Stay <laughs> off the weed. For that period of time where you know that you're going to be tested and, and Much potentially... Much in Spanish. No so... disrespect to uh, Stephen A., but yes. Dile so... que no a la marihuana, Stephen A., practice. <laughs> there you go. So, and, and once you fail, then... All is out the window. Then your life is just, you, you never know when you're going to get tested. They could show up, knock on your door. I want to say it was funny. I think Kirk Cousins was vacationing with his grandmother. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, <laughs> and, and they came to his vacation home with his grandmother. I, I mean, so you never know. So, number one, this is where, this is where like, I understand players like to smoke weed. Yeah. It's fine. All the power to you, man. But no, but understand the calendar. The NFL is giving you so he an knew. opportunity. And, and the NFL is giving you an opportunity to... Not smoke for so a this period is, of time, so you know when not to get caught. So this was so for the first suspension. Right. He knew exactly when he was going to get tested. So, so this is the first time around, yeah, yeah. So yeah. okay, so then he had DUI and, he, and, and marijuana. Mm -hmm. So then now he's tested all the time. So randomly, now, right? Randomly. So now he missed this test, right? Okay. This is kind of. I, I mean, and, and I'm using the analogy here. Tell me if you think I'm wrong, but this is kind of like you get pulled over. Maybe you've had one too many. You're not drunk, but you know that if you blow in that breathalyzer. Yeah. You know that you know, it's going to You know you're getting into deep you know, water. You know, you know you're, yeah, absolutely. you're in the pen. Yeah. You blow, into, you blow into that? No. Of course not. I, and this is my opinion. You don't blow. Well, he did blow, but so that's. <laughs> he did. He's I, a lucky man. I, if, if he, he missed this, t I mean, is it. Let's call it if he you, avoided if the you test. you know you were going to, if you know that yeah. you were going to fail a, a drug test in the NFL, and God knows, as we know, what, jury and executioner, right? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Roger Goodell. Who, and could have possibly been suspended for the entire season. Would you, would you take, if you knew you wouldn't pass it? So it's already established that, and again, he didn't take... all assumption. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's let, Yeah, that. we're this assuming all, all this. We're, is this just, is all assumption. We're okay, speculation. Okay, so worst speculation. case scenario... Speculation. Worst case scenario, if he would have tested positive, we wouldn't have known how long the suspension would have been. It would have been just Goodell's decision. Now, he didn't take the test, so we're looking at a four-day suspension. We don't I'll know yet. We don't, we well, don't know the, yet. Well, the thing we is, like, well, but no, we're looking certainly. at a four-game suspension I mean, right he now. Is, yes. he is going to appeal. We know that. Oh, of this course. Is, and gonna then it's going to be It happened down. last year with the three suspensions that went to two yeah. and all this stuff. But come on. I mean, I kind of get it. Like, you go, uh, I'm going to avoid yeah. the cut, miss. We really want to call, like, avoided the test. It, it's a calculated risk. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. And he is going to win by this calculated risk. So of maybe course. is it time to address the policy? Is it time to put a policy in place that is just like Major League Baseball? We are not told. You're tested randomly and you have a set amount of games that you can uh, My question is, why are these guys even tested at all? I was just going to say that. I mean, it's it's legal in certain states now. Uh, yeah. I, like, why, like, get a here's it, why are these guys even yeah. tested at all for marijuana? <laughs> Whether people smoke weed or not, that's a whole other issue. That's their yeah. business. Whether it's legalized. Mm -hmm. But just from a football perspective, as a football fan, I've been in for the Steelers specifically. He's dealt with a lot of injuries. Yep. He had some other issues. So I'm saying, like, dude, come on. Get it together. We're so excited. They could have a fantastic year this season having all these uh, their pieces back healthy again. I know they've lost Martavis Bryant and uh, Heath Miller's not there anymore. But this, this team's loaded and ready to go, and this hurts them tremendously. So as far as the teammates, this is the rule. So you gotta, you got to have your, your stuff together. Well, keep in mind, D'Angelo Williams stepped in for him last year. I've got some stats. He Two, did a great job. Yeah, 200 carries, 907 yards, 11 touchdowns, 40 receptions, was a big part of the, rush, the, the passing attack, 367 yards. So, I, I, you know, is this a huge hit? Yes, because Le'Veon Bell is such an immense talent. Yeah. And, and not only in the rushing attack, but in the passing and he game as well. he hasn't been there. Coming off of an a, 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 a AC, uh, was it MCL and PCL mm -hmm. tear in his knee. So, 
Was he going to be worked in slowly? Probably. But yes, this is, this is a huge loss if it's just, hopefully, it's just four games, if not less, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I still don't think that they're, I'm, I'm not looking at the first four games, let's say hypothetically mm -hmm. speaking, if he's suspended, I'm not looking at the four, first four games and going, oh man, I, like, they're going to loot, like, the, the J.J. Watt situation that I know we're going to yeah. get into uh -huh. a little later on the show, I'm looking at that and going, wow, my feeling about the Texans is a little different now. You're talking about a disc. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's an impact player, but there's, you, you, you hit the, hell, the nail on the head, Molly. There's such great talent on that team yeah. that I don't, I don't think they're going to It's going to be such an impact. That, that so you much don't think of a it beat. matters. They're not going to miss that much of a beat. I, I, I'm going to go with, you know what, it hurts. Let's talk about what really, really matters here, my fantasy team. <laughs> This is what's really important. He killed me last year. I came And he's going to kill you again. And he is going, really, Le'Veon? Dile sí. que no a la marihuana. Bájate. You are ruining Stay my league. Off. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Again, Stay off the pot. Stay, <laughs> Stay off the pot. Stay off the pot. Stay off the pot. It, it really, at this point, I understand and I agree. You know, I, at this point in time, we all know it, we can't be a hypocrite about it. We, we just can't cover the sun with a finger. It's that simple. But a rule is a rule. I understand where you're That's what I mean. It's not what, whether people want to blow or smoke weed, whatever the heck they want to do, that's their business. I get it. And, and, and the issue of um, whether it should be legalized, and we talked about it. We had yeah, Eugene Monroe on Mike and Mike earlier, and he talked about retiring early and how he would rather do that than And he was a killer, strong advocate, Which are highly yes. addictive. So I, I'm not saying either and way we could being go back to Rick police Williams. here. Yes. But this is the rule. This guy is so good. He is a beast. He is so talented. Why put your team in this position? This is the rule. Whether we like it or not there's a lot of rules that we have to deal with that we don't but like so don't do this and I, I get that it's four games but come on there's, and what's it's amazing still, is we're, that we're missing a huge point somebody is not doing their homework we all know there's a babysitter in every single locker room Somebody's not doing their homework. Yeah, but they're He's not 24. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. Why are you guys doing yeah, yeah, no, the pass, though? Listen, and listen. That amazing. I'm He's covered. 20, He's only 24 years old. Yeah, and he's like, and he is ruining the he best the years of his career. This is an outstanding back, keeperly outstanding <laughs> back. Outstanding. Claudia. 24 years old, he keeps ruining this. I I've covered the NFL for for many, many years. You. I there is no babysitter. You know what I mean. There's I, always somebody looking over your shoulder, but trying it, to keep you straight, trying to keep you in line. I'm not saying that there's somebody that gets paid to just Molly, watch you. You're, you're not you covered by this at all. You, co you covered the NFL for a long time. Yes. Too. You're not, it doesn't matter. It, it, like a, a team can assign. Didn't Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys do that with Chris Bryant at some point? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the a team. Yeah, that's right? happened for and many he actually, years. And, he and that actually happened did with behave. the Cowboys. Way right? yeah, that's what um, I'm saying. I mean, the, but, and I know there's always this one leader in the in the in the team that's going to have this. Come to Jesus' conversation. But you can't be smarter Anita, they can even be smarter about it. You said when you know you're getting yes, so maybe work he, the system let's be very and clear. figure out the loopholes. It's like, come on, be on point. Uh, that, well, for, first and foremost, that's my point. Like, if you're going to smoke weed and you're an, in, you're an NFL player, like, all the power to you, just, like, be smart about it. Well, right? Just, be, maybe no, he know when you're going to get tested and just, yeah. like, you know, like, suck it up for, like, a few months. I remember. And, and, stay, and stay off the weed. But maybe if, he can't time it. Maybe he can't add. Like, you can't figure Stop. it out. You know, somebody I'm, said to I'm me, giving the benefit of the doubt to everybody. You know, maybe in he terms doesn't of how long it's going to stay in his Maybe system. he doesn't know how to use a Google very, Calendar in his a phone. Very I mean, wise just man driving. said to me, there's nothing wrong. It's just poorly executed. But it's not only poorly executed. It's that you believe you're above the law, right? So he's going to think, this is one of the things about being it's a great athlete, happen. right? They all think, it's not going to happen to me. But my, per my, per my personal opinion, and I'm curious to get yours as well, and my personal opinion is I don't think, it, I don't think these players should be tested for marijuana. I really don't. Um, I just don't. I think if it's illegal, you should be tested. I think when a substance is illegal, you should continue be, to be tested. I think it needs to be approached in a wider level. When marijuana is legal everywhere, then you can use it. It's the same thing as alcohol. And I do think that drugs of abuse affect performance. Claudia? In excess. Uh, that's a touchy subject specifically because it's so different from one state to the next. So now we're starting to figure, you know, morally, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that might not agree. And so we go back to what's right in California, what's mm -hmm. right in Colorado, what's not right in Florida. So now we start playing with a whole yeah. different issue. And but the league is a league. And we go back to what Molly said. There, a rule is a rule. And we're dealing with grown men. Again, yeah. be on point. There's nothing wrong, just poorly executed. But as far as marijuana, this is where it gets tricky for me. It's tough, and I'd have to ask a medical expert, and I'm sure doctors would have varying opinions on this, but 
These painkillers are highly addictive. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's very scary as well. Yeah. And we're seeing what's happening and obviously all the scary things with CT, et cetera. And these guys are putting their bodies on the line. And that's why we're seeing so many people retiring. I think younger, they're able to make a little more money so they can. And, and they don't want to beat up their bodies. And also then the concussion issues as well. But, but I don't know. I mean, when people are saying, oh, marijuana is a gateway drug or whatever, stay away from it. It's also very scary taking all these painkillers as well. So that's when I would defer to a medical expert here. I don't know if, if marijuana is a better answer. And I know a lot of players feel more comfortable because they're c considering it more natural. More so natural. I can't really answer your question, but I think it's it's certainly up for debate. But I would just need more like me medical research on, on what's on what's but, the best but, answer there. And, and then we go, what, what's the right thing to follow the medical advice or to follow the morals? Remember, we're dealing with people from completely different environments, mm -hmm. uh, social economical status with backgrounds, completely different yes. backgrounds. So again, what's more important, the, the medical value or the morality behind it? It, it? It's a very complicated issue. And again, that's why the NFL has that rule. Mm -hmm. And uh, dude, well, really? But the thing is that <laughs> when Molly was mentioning, and it's interesting that you mentioned the painkillers mm -hmm. because obviously painkillers are legal. Yeah. Right? Yes. But a lot of people consider the medical some some members of the medical profession use you know prescribe them liberally, yeah. and they get and, you, and they get abused. And, people, and it is so these are legal right yeah. drugs of abuse, and it's just very interesting, but. To Anita's point, I think it requires a greater conversation. Mm -hmm. I completely see your point of what you, you know, what you think. Yeah, why not? This is an option for them that may be safer than other things. But my, my point is because when we get into legality, it gets tricky. So if it's something that is illegal in a particular place, then it should be illegal in, in every performance. I, because I, it's I, it's I under... illegal at ESPN. As I, you know, we, we get tested. It's illegal to be a, a because Marijuana is an illegal drug, so you're not allowed to be an employee of the Walt Disney Company because if you use illegal but drugs. Not a, but, so not every, but not every company, not every company tests their employees. No, I understand that. They don't. But, yeah, but no, no, no. There are, some, there are some companies that do not test their employees. No, for, absolutely, and it's their prerogative. Right, and is, so what I'm saying is that I think the NFL's prerogative should be they stop testing. Stop testing. Your gut, ladies, and I know this is hard to do, but say 15 years from now, do you think they're going to be testing for it? No. No, no. I don't think so either. No. I don't think so. I don't know. That, that, <laughs> not no. if these conversations continue to happen, hopefully. Yeah. No, and, and again, with a lot of research, like you were talking about, uh, in terms of uh, the effects of concussions, yeah. headaches, I mean, we are to this day finding more and more yes. value to the use of pot, moreover than just to get high. I mean, there's a lot of value. A lot of cancer patients use it. A lot of people with seizures use it. So there's going to be a moment where they would rather use that mm -hmm. than use Percocet, Vicodin, and we all know the secondary effects of that. And like you said, those are legal and those are highly addictive. Yeah. And I know of a lot of people that have gone to rehab and it's a lot harder to wean off those substances than to get rid of pop. I just think that you can't, there comes a point, and I don't want to be like the square one on the table <laughs> who doesn't want to legalize marijuana. <laughs> you know, it's not. It's not, not the point. About that. But I don't think that You're actually so you can put square. a big square on my face. So I'm okay square. with that. You know what? I've never been cool a day in my life, so I'm okay you with that. You are cool. Look at that. But my point here is marijuana affects your cognitive process. Yeah. It affects the way you develop. I do not want a 325-pound man <laughs> running towards me high. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm, do you want it? I'm sorry, I don't. You know what? I'm sorry. Somewhere, somewhere that sounded like a good fantasy. I have to. <laughs> And she wears white. I, I think you're a lot of fun. I just have an inkling that you're a lot of fun.